Hi, we're the Mobile Dungeons Project team. Uh, let's take a moment to introduce ourselves. I'm Stephen Topper. My name is Bill Klonotis. My name is Matthew Meadows. And I'm AJ Gray. And together, we'd like to talk to you about the project that we've been working on all year, the mobile game, Mobile Dungeons. All right, one of the first things we're going to talk about in this presentation is the motivation behind the creation of Mobile Dungeon. Uh, Stephen was actually one of the first person to reach out in the little discussions we had earlier in the year trying to get groups together. Uh, he said he wanted to make a mobile game, and the rest of us joined the group because of our enjoyment of both playing video games, and we wanted to see if we could come up with our own mobile game as well. Uh, we chose a mobile game because of the market value that we have seen increase uh, in North America over the years, up to $25.2 billion as of now. And uh, we also see a trend, if we look down at that graph down below, uh, just to see how many games have been coming out in the Apple App Store. Uh, nearly 1 million mobile games are on that App Store as of 2020. Uh, we also wanted to try our hand at learning some new software. Some of us had dabbled in it before using a little bit of Unity, but definitely uh, working together is something that we wanted to learn how to do and really push ourselves in learning some new skills in Unity as it is becoming one of the more popular game development softwares. Most of our inspiration for this game came from The Binding of Isaac, a randomly generated top-down shooter created by Edmund McMillan. We wanted to take three key ideas from The Binding of Isaac and make them our own in this game. First, high replayability through random rooms and progressive difficulty. Second, a random map uniquely generated at the start of each playthrough. And finally, a wide range of items that would affect the player's stats in various ways. All right, the next section we're going to talk about is some of the goals we had while creating Mobile Dungeon. Something we had right from the beginning was the uh, idea of a new map every time the player was able to pick up the game. Uh, that was just to keep the gameplay fresh, as sometimes some of those games can get kind of boring where you just run through the same levels every time you're able to pick up the game. Uh, we also wanted to keep the game section short, uh, just little sections the player could do in a single session. Uh, one thing we weren't able to do maybe later down the road we might be able to get done is a save function and all that would be with a local save to just save player data and that way if the player you know got tired of playing the game or had to put it down for a little bit it could save the progress uh, coins item pickups and player location in the map and the player would be able to come back to that uh, whenever they felt like uh, something else we really wanted to create was a level layout that would reward the player with exploration and the way we implemented that was by placing chest uh, randomly throughout the map and what the chest give the player is coins that can be spent in our shop uh, to unlock other items and also random items would be dropped from that chest granting the player a different power boost something else we were able to do speaking of those random items was to randomly generate those items and we had a lot of item designs uh, ranging from power boosts such as jump and also rewards of extra attack on some of those uh, weapons that would be dropped from those chests. Uh, something else we implemented was a pause function and the way that works is it stops the game uh, goes to a completely different screen so all the stuff is stopped you don't have to worry about getting attacked by enemies while you pause the game as that can happen in some other mobile games we also implemented a volume setting. Uh, if you go into one of our settings menus, you are able to adjust the volume. Uh, just real, real easy slider. And that completes our goal section. Thank you, guys. For, for Mobile Dungeons, the main technology used was the Unity game engine. And in Unity, it provided us with a plethora of assets, such as character sprites so for the models of the enemies as well as the player character. <coughs> tile mapping for the, that way we could build the uh the stages of each level um the main language we used for almost pretty much every script was the c-sharp language uh which is not too too much far off from c++ so that was kind of nice um and yeah so like i said the game engine used was unity provides with uh, multiple assets it was Honestly, Unity was free. All the assets we got were free. So honestly, it helped with the building of the project, not having to worry about the financial aspect of it. 
er, scenes, every scene, every level you play in Mobile Dungeons is technically just a new scene. Scenes are something in you that help <coughs> essentially the creators piece together their game. So instead of having to worry about like say like a seamless transition between rooms, you can just piece them together in scenes and essentially just swap each scene. So essentially when you go to a new level, if you can go backwards or forwards, you're just going to either the old scene you were just in or a new scene that's in front of you. It helps with it helps with piecing the game together. And that is one reason that we use Unity as our technology is that it would be like way easier to have a seamless transition between each level of the game. Um, it's less of a headache for us as well as less of a headache for the user that's playing it. And yeah, that's pretty much it with the uh, with the technologies used. Next, we'll pass it over to Bill for a demonstration of the app. Bill. Hello, welcome to the demo for Mobile Dungeon. The first screen that you'll come across is a um, instruction screen, but we don't need to read that because I can explain everything. Uh, yeah, this is our main menu. Um, we have a settings tab that will allow us to decrease the volume if we want. As, as you can see, it's a lot lighter. Let's go back so you can hear the sound effects there. And um, yeah, let's start the game. So yeah, every once in a while you'll come across um, some chest, a chest. And yeah, each chest will have a randomly generated item and some gold. So let's equip, go to there. And we've got a rare sword. So let's go into the inventory and equip this rare sword. It will give us 17 extra damage. And yeah, go back. Let's show the other mechanics of the game. First, I like to show that your enemy gets hit. Uh, this is the archer. He'll shoot uh, basically arrows at you. And yeah, you can eventually die like that. Um, and yeah, we can just either restart or go back to the main menu. Let's restart. And um, this time we got a legendary HUD helmet, so that's really cool. We can also block his attacks by using the block button if we time it properly. And we can attack him, we come around, and we can push him into his, that little hole. Um, and yeah, we can jump and use potions. Each potion will increase our health by 20%, um, but we can only use it every 10 seconds. This is a slime. If we get hit by him or touch him, he'll hurt us. Then we can attack him. So let's go to our final enemy, the Barrel Knight. He kind of just runs after you with his lance. Um, if you get too close, you can try to attack him. Oops. And I'd like to show you each enemy will drop um, gold. So we can run over there and grab some gold. Use our potion and move on to the next level. The great thing about Mobile Dungeon is that you can go back through levels to make sure that you um, didn't miss anything like chests and stuff. So yeah, we'll run through these levels and try to show you the final boss of, um, oops, of the respective level. This is quite a big level. Um, and yeah, let's see if I can hit every jump properly. And there we go. Awesome. And we have, I think this is the last level before the boss. Um, this is another chest. And let's try to make sure our health is enough. And yeah, this is the boss room. Here is our boss. You can um, attack him. He kind of hurts and he has a lot of, oops, he's a potion. He has a lot of health and he'll drop a bunch of gold. So we'll pick that up and move on. Once you beat a boss, it allows you to um, go into the shop room uh, shop room is indicated by the top, upper top 
the top right corner you can see the shop is available so we can go into our inventory and buy items um, we already have a better sword than that so we won't buy that let's buy yeah might as well buy this helmet and these shoes if we equip the sword uh, helmet and shoes that will give us extra stats like speed health and attack and that's our presentation I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you will enjoy playing the game as much as we enjoyed working on it. Thank you.